What do you do for a living, bathtub beard? Yeah, feed. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet promise swearsies. <gasps> it's just a fact, it's totally science. Go ahead, look it up. We're back into some neckbeard one-offs today because, I don't know, that's just sort of what I'm feeling like. I'm putting off the Onision book a little bit, I know. But within the next day or two, for real, for real, totally. Totally for real. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into it. Oh, our first one comes from my personal subreddit, r slash redxread. It was posted two days ago, which will offer some contrast for the decade-old post that we'll read later. <laughs> anyway, uh, bathtub beard. And a hearty welcome to the channel to user mundane study 412 plus 8. <laughs> LTL FTP. I had to look up what it means. Uh, long time lurker, first time poster. So, cool. <laughs> Glad to hear it. And now I have some more acronyms in my brain. Um, <laughs> the events of this story took place a few years ago, so some details may be fuzzy. It was around Christmas time of 2020, and I was very, very much obsessed with a small indie game styled after Diablo 2. If you know, you know. I've strained my brain, but I guess I really don't know. <laughs> I tend to fall into rabbit holes when I pick up a new title and binge it for weeks or sometimes months before moving on. Gotta love hyperfixation. Yes, currently it's Pal World. <laughs> Go ahead, join up on the server. I'm so glad to like find people's houses. Anyway, I, I totally relate. Hope he continues. At this point, I was truly in the depths of my obsession with this game, and having just finished my last semester of college, I was more than happy to de-stress and waste all my time in front of a screen. <laughs> Life well spent! Uh, yeah, getting the paper's not the end of it, but, uh, you know, you gotta unwind a little bit sometimes. My boyfriend, who's an even bigger gamer than me, usually joins me in these binge sessions, but by this point, he was burnt out on this. He had just left me to play by myself for the night, and went to join our other friends on the fields of Rune Terra, which is that League of Legends card game. I can't do it. Not after Hearthstone broke my heart. Only card games I can play these days. Elder Scrolls Legends and Sorcery the Conglomeration. <laughs> eh? But even those got power creep kind of hard. Whatever. It's for another video. <laughs> uh, after an hour of playing alone, I received a notification that someone had joined my world. Welcome to my world. They were a slightly lower level player than myself. I decided to be friendly and offered to carry them through some harder maps for XP and boss loot. My new companion, who I'll call Chip, happily agreed and offered a link to a Discord channel. Eager to make more friends, I joined the server and hopped into a voice channel with two users in it. Ah uh, yes, joining random Discord links. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> then again, this is probably why it's hard for me to make friends. I don't put myself out there like this. But something tells me stories like this are largely the reason why. <laughs> OP says, Hello, Chip. Oh, hi. I can't believe you offered to carry me through some maps. That's really nice of you. OP, yeah, uh, no problem. I'm obsessed with this game. I've been farming it for like eight hours straight today. Chip? Damn, don't you have a job? OP, no, I just graduated. Chip, nice, what'd you go to school for? OP, two useless degrees, history and philosophy. What? <laughs> uh, why would you do this to yourself? Did you not realize they were useless before completing them? <laughs> I also understand chasing your passions, but yeah, probably don't go into debt over that. The wealth of knowledge of the entire accumulated history of humanity is at your fingertips inside your PC computer. All you need to do is log on, <laughs> ask questions. <laughs> uh, or maybe she just went to college to party and party demon, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's also a possibility. But Chip don't say none of that. <laughs> Chip says, that's not bad. History is useful. OP, uh, it could be. Philosophy is like a straight-up Starbucks degree. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go to law school, but if I don't get in there, well, I'm probably screwed. 
Oh, come on, don't say that. You could live in a box and go full Diogenes. <laughs> he's like obviously everybody's favorite philosopher just because he's, he's sort of insane. And I realize some people might not know who Diogenes is, so I'll, I'll take a little tangent time right now and tell some interesting stories about the guy. Alexander the Great came and offered him anything. Anything that his heart could desire. And do you know what Diogenes asked for? He asked for Alexander the Great to get out of his sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> he lived in a barrel. He thought that physical possessions were a hindrance to ha true happiness. Uh, <laughs> he peed in public often. And he's the father of cynic philosophy. So yeah, I, I got a lot of love for Diogenes. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, OP wants to go to law school. Uh, Chip says, Law school? That is intense! It was at this point that the other user in the channel piped up. Bathtub beard. I could never do that. OP, I'm hoping it won't be too tough. What do you do for a living? Bathtub beard. Nothing. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Uh, yeah, he's really not living. He, he's scraping by. He's barely surviving. <laughs> OP. Oh, did you just get laid off or something? Bathtub beard? No. <laughs> OP. Oh. Uh, okay then. Are you like looking for work? Bathtub beard? No. <laughs> Would you please go look for a job? Why? Uh, <laughs> OP. Okay, fair enough. Work sucks, but I'm sure there's some easy online jobs you could do. I mean, they are easy, but usually time-consuming. Unless you're a consummate professional like myself. That's a lie, but most of you guys knew that already. <laughs> Bathtub Beard says, eh, eh, less time for games. OP. Okay, but how do you, like, pay rent and stuff? Bathtub Beard. I live with my parents. In the bathroom? Is that why he's called Bathtub Beard? You drink from the tap and pee down the plug hole? You got basically everything you need in one tiny convenient space. <laughs> this is the most pathetic sight known to man. Uh, anyways, OP says, yeah, I, I can understand that. It's economical, but I really wouldn't want to live with my parents. They could be a bit much at times. My mom's a complete control freak and will regularly barge into my room to check on what I'm doing with no warning or knocking. Bathtub beard. Has she ever caught you uh, doing anything? <laughs> you know. Ew, dude. Disconnect the voice call now. <laughs> uh, tell Chip that you could kick it, like, separately. That dude makes me very uncomfortable. He's testing the waters. It's only gonna get worse, you know. <laughs> OP says, of course, that was the first question that he asked. Just, of course it was. Chip cleared his throat uncomfortably. Uh, um, y you don't have to answer that if it makes you uncomfortable. Well, no shit, it makes me uncomfortable, Chip. <laughs> Those are not the type of memories that people share with people they've just met. Like, Chip knows how weird this dude is and still hangs out with him, which makes me think that maybe there's something functionally wrong with Chip. <laughs> that he doesn't have friends besides this weirdo. OP shrugs and says, well, I've been asked worse. My mom never caught me per se, but definitely interrupted on a few occasions. I don't think she ever pieced the puzzle together, though, if you catch my drift. She knew. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to bring it up, but she knew. Parents know, okay? <laughs> Bathtub beard. Uh, I see. Chip. Hey, bathtub beard. <laughs> Do you want to get carried through some levels? Bathtub beard. Yeah, but after this, I'm done with that stupid game for a while. I want to play a horror game. Chip. Yeah, I've been itching to play Dead by Daylight. OP, do you want to join? OP? Oh, I don't think so. My laptop probably can't run that game. You get with a good group of friends, you know, and Dead by Daylight, it can be pretty lit. <laughs> but with these two randos who are, are clearly weird, 
at least to some degree, more or less. <laughs> yeah, it's good that OP's tried to exit post haste. She, she admits that that was a bit of a half truth. Since it was Christmas time, I was staying with my parents for a few days, and obviously I couldn't bring my PC with me on the eight hour drive to the city where they lived. I mean, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I was stuck with my 2017 MacBook, which I doubt would have been able to run Dead by Daylight, even if I had wanted to play it, which you definitely didn't. That's good, that's smart. It is indeed time to bail. <laughs> to be completely honest, I hate horror games. I hate horror movies. I have such intense anxiety that watching Insidious kept me awake for a week straight. I will also be completely honest and say it's not necessarily my jam either, but my wife likes it and I don't know, I don't scare too easy. <laughs> anyway, I was not about to disclose any of this information, however, as I'm a little self-conscious about how weak it might come off, uh, but I digress. That's fine, You could. I digress as well. I don't think it's a weak thing to admit, I think you just kind of like what you like. Being scared isn't fun for you. Anybody who has a problem with it can go suck an egg, right? <laughs> uh. Anyway, Bathtub Beard says, Oh, I'm sure it would be fine. Uh, I'm playing on a laptop. OP says, Oh, do you not have a PC? Bathtub Beard, No, I, I don't have room. Oh God, the foreshadowing. He does live in the bathtub, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> OP says, is your desk that small? Bathtub Beard says, uh, I'm playing for my bathtub. <laughs> Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> I don't... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, I guess. <laughs> How do you even respond to this? OP says, oh, cool. When I was younger, I used to go and read in my dad's bathroom. I can understand hanging out in the bathtub for a night. But Bathtub Beard clarifies, I live in this bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wash yourself with a rag on a stick? <laughs> I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Who am I kidding? There's no water in there. <laughs> I laughed out loud at this. <laughs> As you should. It's so ridiculous. I understand hanging out in a bathtub. <laughs> I've always loved taking baths, and when I was younger, sitting in my dad's bathtub was my sanctuary. God, I can't wait to have a bathtub again. It's only been a few years since we got an actual shower. I used to have to just dump buckets of cold water on myself. Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> the shower's still not even heated. Where's my sanctuary? It's fine, we'll get it figured out. OP flashes back to that bathroom sanctuary and says, It smelled pleasantly of bleach, and I was allowed to lock the bathroom door. It was really the only space where I could get some privacy. Thus, I would sit in a dry bathtub, curled up with a good book, safely tucked away from the rest of the world. Nowadays, I have abandoned this practice because I'm now an adult living in my own apartment. I can read wherever I want and lock any door I want with total impunity. Now that's liberation. <laughs> uh, and then one day, if you have kids, you just, you never get a moment of peace. You'll never read anything properly again. You want to lock the door? That's too bad. The two-year-old's standing out there going, Dad, where are you? Dad, where are you? <laughs> I'm like, dude, okay, come in. I guess I was done working on whatever I was working on anyways. <laughs> Let's play with Legos. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's ups and downs. Anyway, <laughs> while I understand why bathtubs can be a nice place to hang out, the thought of living in a bathtub was laughable. <laughs> I mean, to start, then you really think about it, it's super pathetic. I mean, no one could possibly sustain themselves in such a small space. There had to be some practical limitations. Plus, I can't imagine sitting in one place all day was great for one's mental health. Clearly, Bathtub Beard's statement had to be a joke. Clearly. <laughs> Uh, Chip says, he isn't joking. 
OP still guffawing audibly. <laughs> of course he is. You can't, you can't actually live in a bathtub. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, on a long enough timeline, you can get used to basically anything. So determined is he to not do anything with his life that he's living in a fucking bathtub. You couldn't even negotiate yourself onto the couch <laughs> with your own parents. <laughs> That's how much they dislike this kid. Let me guess, let me guess, now he's gonna use, you know, pathos as a wrench to try and make OP feel bad. You have to keep hanging out with me because I'm just a little boy that lives in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is a good post, I like this. <laughs> Bathtub Beard says, No, I really do live in here. OP, how? Why? Bathtub Beard, uh, I'm too fat to move that far. This is just easier. Ew, dude. That bathtub was dry at one point until he made the dookie pee pee water slide. <laughs> I think you just like rinse yourself off, I guess. I got a lot of questions. So does OP. OP asks, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell do you mean? <laughs> Bathtub beard. Well, I can't really walk anymore. And getting up is rough. Dude, this is so sad. He did make an untoward comment towards OP, who he had just met, so... Probably he is a degenerate of some sort. One could probably argue that he deserves his fate that he chose with reckless abandon. But I don't know, man. I, I sort of feel bad for him still just a little bit. Sitting there in your own filth all day? Not able to get up and leave that one very white porcelain room? Opie nailed it. His physical health is probably down the drain. I don't know how he hasn't bitten a bullet yet. And he's sort of past the point of no return if it's like getting up is rough. So what do you plan to do? Just die in the bathtub? I don't know, man. It's a lot to unpack. <laughs> OP says, wait, wait. How do you pee? <laughs> I need to just push the bag down. Bang. The bog's right there. Just kneel and piss directly down the plug hole. <laughs> that's, that's the real important questions. Let's not talk about dying yet. Start with the pee. <laughs> Bathtub beard. Uh, sometimes in a jar. My mom helps lift me out of the bathtub once a day to take a shit. <laughs> Ew, dude. Uh, that, that toilet has got to be sturdy. This, this is a really big boy. <laughs> OP says, dude. You're fucking with me. <laughs> There's literally no way. Uh, how the hell do you eat? Bathtub beard. Uh, my mom brings me food. OP. So you're telling me your mom, who you're living with rent free, cooks your meals for you because you're too fat to get up and make them yourself. Bathtub beard. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. This is Tendi posting, like, come to life, and I hate it. How does she not cry herself to sleep every night? Look at your baby boy and what you've turned him into. Laying in the bathtub and peeing on himself. <laughs> but Riddix, he uses the jar. No, he said sometimes in a jar. <laughs> uh, this is so wild. I hate everything about it, but I'm so morbidly fascinated. OP says, I I'm sorry, what? Does she do your laundry? Bathtub beard. Of course. <laughs> OP. I don't believe you. There's no way, Chip. It's true. I can tell you it gets real awkward when his mom is taking a shite. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, sweetheart? I'm just Tendy posting on 4chan. Do I have enough good boy points for a milkshake tonight, Bobby? <laughs> uh, OP wants to clarify again and says, Why would that be awkward? Are you saying that she shits in front of him, Chip? Yep, right on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you just stand by for this? 
Chip, we need to get you some better friends, bro. <laughs> this is not the way to live. OP says, why doesn't she just use another bathroom? Bathtub beard. We don't have another one. OP. I can't, man. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> Uh, the world really is a, a rich tapestry, isn't it? <laughs> you watch your mom's shit? Bathtub beard? Yeah. I mean, I, I try not to look. And she's usually quick when she's peeing. But shit's kind of tricky. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hate everything about this. You hit him with the courtesy flush? You got like some air freshener on standby? What's going on? <laughs> OP says, wait. So how does your mom even shower? Bathtub beard. She has to lift me up first, but sometimes she showers at her boyfriend's place or the gym. I don't know whether to be glad for the mom that she's able to live a normal life despite having created this waste of space. Or if I should be upset at her for enabling her son to the point that literally he, he can no longer do anything. He's a disaster, it's over, one day you'll come home and find him dead, and the, the sad part is, mom is probably hoping for that sooner rather than later. I don't know guys, how, how could you let it get this bad? OP says, is this for real, bathtub beard? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Bullshit. Shape it into what you want it to be. OP says, you have just resigned yourself to live like that? Don't you want to get out of the bathtub? <laughs> bathtub beard. Why would I? OP. Well, fair point, I guess. Chip. Sorry, OP. I hope you're not totally weirded out. I mean, it's a lot to take in, I'll say that. <laughs> OP says, I don't know. I think I've heard weirder. Anyway, I'm gonna grind through another few maps if you wanna join me. We played through a few more maps in a bit of an awkward silence. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't get any great drops and I called it quits about 1 a.m. I thank Chip for playing with me and headed into my boyfriend's Discord server. Since these events, I haven't really interacted with anyone from that Discord server again. I did see some posts from Bathtub Beard, mostly about his bathtub. <laughs> uh, but I never engaged with him directly. You should just leave the server, honestly. Be like, hey, it was nice dragging you for a bit, but I gotta go now. My planet needs me. I recounted this situation to my boyfriend, who remarked that there were probably more people like this, terminally online and too addicted to Vidya to have a clear picture of life. Oh, and you're seeing it happen more and more. I used to not believe in the slippery slope thing until I got on the slippery slope and then I realized that the slope is hella slippery. <laughs> Opie says, despite my gaming addiction and some of the holes and binges that I fall into, I did manage to get into law school. Hey, shout out, which has been mostly beard free. If people like this post, there are more fleshed out stories I can write about. My high school years were filled with online dating, which was a gold mine of beardery. I even dated a beard throughout college, but that is a story for another time. And indeed, we await it with bated breath. Bathtub beard, a creature so foul, so inhuman that even comprehending his very existence is difficult for most people to do. There'll probably be comments that are like, this is a fake story. Y you hope so, you know? <laughs> but is it really? I'm, I'm not sure. He had answers to all these questions. When he admitted to watching his mom poop, things got very awkward and quiet. That seems like a natural progression here. <laughs> uh, I believe him. I think it's really unfortunate. But the truth is, you can't save people from themselves. I mean, maybe his mom could have at one point, but I think we're way too far down the road now. I hope he gets it figured out, but man, I just don't know. How is it so hilarious and heavy at the same time? <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, uh, episode's a little short. We'll, we'll do one more. Roll on through, why not? I dated a gaming genius neckbeard who only drank Fanta. Was he a juggalo? I feel like probably he was. <laughs> it's the only people that drink Fanta, right? Oh wait, no, that's Fago. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who cares? Elijah cut in the Fanta girls to distract everyone. <laughs> Waiting for your chance to scream. Fanta helps you beat the sea. <laughs> anyway, OP story, look. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Just stumbled on this sub and thought I'd share my own experience of dating a neckbeard. Which as usual I go into sort of skeptical because obviously you did date this person. But on the other hand, hindsight, usually 2020. We'll just have to see what we got our hands on today. So this all happened when I was about 17 to 18. It's a very naive time. <laughs> Hope he says I'm 24 now and have my life in order, but back then, probably not so much the case. I went to a girls only school for my entire life and I was terribly shy, nerdy and introverted. So my experience with boys was limited to say the least. Don't get me wrong, I had good friends and went out to parties with them and stuff, but I was never really comfortable with it. Well, no shit, nobody is to, to, to begin with, right? <laughs> These are formative experiences. It's all part of learning and growing. But you know, in your own time, of course. OP continues. So I was always into video games and at the time I was playing a lot of League of Legends. A lot. <laughs> and that's where I first met Neckbeard. League of Legends. There's your problem. Almost as bad as strange discords. <laughs> we should all be really skeptical of anybody that we meet online. Even in those good old parasocial relationships. <laughs> so I had a username which made it pretty obvious that I was a girl, so I used to get a lot of invites and attention, which as a 17 year old low self-esteem virgin, I did enjoy. Yeah, you get like free skins and stuff like that. I'm gonna take a page out of your book, honestly. My next username's gonna be snail trail one, two, three. <laughs> That'll make it clear that I'm a woman, I think. I can't be a girl, too old for all that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Neckbeard and his friend invite me to play and we gradually get to know each other. I like him. He's got a really dry sense of humor and to me, at least, he's really good at the game. He was also a few years older than me. I felt kind of sorry for him too because his friend was always making jokes at his expense and he also seems to have really low self-esteem. Later I would realize that this was not the case. See, he's using his pathetic worminess to pry your shell open. Meanwhile, the other friend is trying to play the alpha douchebag. Nobody here is is good. Just like in the last story, not the types you probably want to hang around. But hey, maybe they could carry me for some ranked games. If I reach platinum, won't that be worth my deteriorating mental sanity? <laughs> for me, it's a gold play button. <laughs> and yes. My sanity is deteriorating rapidly. I'm not sure we're gonna make it, fellas. <laughs> uh, OP says, we soon found out by chance that we actually live pretty close to each other. I'm in Noord Brabant, Netherlands, and Neckbeard lives just across the border in Belgium. Yeah, let's go hang out with weirdos from the internet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's gonna be the slogan for uh, the Red X Con. It's coming. It's coming real soon. Right after the gold play button. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. <laughs> uh, uh, things move pretty slow, but we play with each other regularly. We move to voice chat. His profile picture on Skype was the head of some anime character. I don't know nothing about that. Which, looking back, probably should have been the first red flag. Hey, we're learning pretty quick. <laughs> but he sounds normal enough. Very monotone voice, like he's always depressed. And eventually we decide to meet IRL. Yeah, you wanna go hang out with Eeyore for the day? What do you wanna do? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you always in such a bad mood? I have a nail in my Oh. Uh, I'll just hang around the house. 
We agree that Neckbeard will get the train to my hometown and we'll meet up at one of the cafes there. I mean, public meeting spot is good, not at your house. I'll, I'll sign off on that, I guess. You know how if you get to know someone without seeing them, you build up this mental picture of what they look like? Yeah, I guess that is a thing. What, what do the people that have never seen me think I look like? Let me know down in the comments, I guess. If you fit the criterion. OP says, I'm not 100% sure what I was expecting, but Neckbeard looked nothing like it. <laughs> he was really, really pale, like ghost white and overweight. This wasn't helped by him wearing a gaming shirt, like this one with the logos and crap so we can pretend it's a sport. <laughs> and that shirt was a few sizes too small for him. He also had on cargo shorts. I don't know why neckbeards need the cargo shorts. They're carrying around their pony jars and anime figurines in the pockets. Is that what this is? <laughs> His neck and chin were covered in a puby fuzz like he just left it to grow. I really don't think he ever shaved or touched it in his life at that point. Fatherless behavior. <laughs> he was also cripplingly awkward and shy, though I'm not much better. So we spent a good half hour just doing the cringy small talk. I mean, you realize that it's cringy. I don't know if he does necessarily. He probably thinks he's casting over right now. OP says, you probably think that the story ends here. I go home mortified at myself, but no. Oh no, dear readers. My 17 year old self decides that this guy right here is good enough for me to give it a go with. Yeah, I think good enough is the whole problem with the, the sentence that just went through your brain. <laughs> Maybe question that part a little more. Nope, it's too late. She's already gone. So OP says, I continue seeing Neckbeard and gradually find out more about him. He lives with his parents, of course, in their garage. At least it's not the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a job, but he hates it and resents it, like almost everything else in his life. Except League of Legends, right? No, he probably hates that most of all. That's why he has to play it so much. <laughs> That's how League of Legends works, I'm pretty sure. That's how every MOBA works. Only MOBA I ever got deep into was Awesome Knots. It's like a 2D side-scrolling one. Never mind. Let's watch this neckbeard be a sad boy. <laughs> OP says, I don't think I can adequately get it across to you just how negative he was about everything. Everything! He was the most depressing person to be around. <laughs> and what's worse is that he had a huge superiority complex. Oh, it's not even Eeyore. It's like insufferable douchebag. <laughs> uh... If you turn a simple plan song into a human being. OP elaborates his parents, who were actually really nice people. Maybe too nice, because they didn't whip this little bastard into shape. <laughs> his parents didn't understand his genius and make him work a crappy nine to five job. His boss was a quote, ignorant fucker, who forced him to do menial tasks that were far beneath him. This is what you have shown me that you are capable of, okay, son? Now take the garbage out, go disappear for 30 minutes while you do it, and I can have you out of my hair for long enough to direct people that are actually working. And of course, the only thing Neckbeard did in his free time was play League of Legends. Who's your champ, bro? What's going on, man? <laughs> on his days off, that's all he would do all day, apart from sleep and eat. And that's pretty much the only thing that we could do together. He once took a week off from work and spent all seven days doing that. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> uh, no, man. Why are you making this choice? You don't even like the game. Put it down. Put it down for a month and see how you feel. Better or worse, I guarantee it's going to be better. You just wasted your whole vacation. I understand like a staycation is a thing, but like do something special for it, you know? Rent a hotel in the next town over. Take yourself out for a nice dinner and movie. Or not. <laughs> he is a mess. I don't know, might be a lost cause. Neckbeard's diet was bad, really bad. I don't think I ever saw him drink water. He subsisted entirely on Fanta. 
There's water in there. It's mostly water. <laughs> uh, he had several huge bottles of it stocked in his mini fridge. Were there like different flavors or he had like one that he always went for? Because let me tell you something. Those pineapple Fantas, oh, it's the only one I'll drink. I don't fuck with any other Fanta. Like grape, yeah, it's good, but pineapple, dude. Pineapple has ruined all the other Fantas for me. <laughs> uh, uh, as far as food goes, Neckbeard had maybe something like a burger and fries, but I don't think he ever saw a salad or a vegetable. What's a burger without like some crunchy lettuce and a big sloppy tomato on it? I think you just smother it in mustard? Oh, that's my style. Once I got him to try a piece of broccoli and he made a face like he had just eaten a lemon and actually gagged. <laughs> Uh, that is, that is really pathetic. Broccoli's so good, bro. Throw some cheese on it. But then you gotta watch out for the farts afterwards, because that is gonna be just deadly. <laughs> so, I guess all this has been dragged out long enough. If there's any interest, I can relate how the romantic side of things went with Neckbeard. He also believed in some crazy conspiracy theories. He thought Earth was flat, for instance. Well, I don't know if I find any of that all that surprising, and yeah, indeed, the other stories never got written, so <laughs> I guess this is just where we're at. Truth is, I also don't believe that the Earth is round, but I'm more of a raptor shape Earth guy, so I don't know. Maybe I could respect donut Earth theory, but flat Earth theory? It's, so, it's such basic bitch stuff, dude. That's probably the worst thing about him, aside from the League of Legends addiction. <laughs> One thing I will say is at least, you know, OP seems to have learned a lesson from it. You, you gotta find some things that you don't want to find the thing that you eventually do want. And yeah, everything about this fucking guy is do not want. <laughs> what, a, what a terrifying existence. Still not as terrifying as bathtub beard, though. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my Patreon if you would. We've also got YouTube channel memberships enabled. Both are important. Patreon's better if I get to pick. But really, I'm just grateful if you decide to support. There are many other people that have, and yes, they're the ones that are uh, helping to keep this channel afloat every single month. We've got other ways to support as well. My PayPal, my Teespring, Amazon affiliate link. One of your dollars is worth, like, you know, ten of mine, so if you wanted to help me out, I'd be grateful. Even if you can't afford it, friends, don't sweat it too hard, you know? I'm still gonna be back here tomorrow, but until then, always remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Go ahead, cut him open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine! Promise, where is he?